The biggest disc brake rotors give you the most power. And for me, I really like that. It's always a kind of balance of grip with Endurabike. You should have some pretty grippy tires in there as well. Because if you chuck on a massive rotor with all that disc brake power, but you don't have the grip, then there's kind of no point doing it. But also over the longer stages, if you're out riding proper big enduro stages in the mountains, then they don't heat up as much as the smaller discs as well. So they won't fade as much, but also the extra power means that your sort of your arm strength, for me, feels like that doesn't fade as much either. You don't have to pull as hard to get them to work. It can take some getting used to if you're going from maybe 180 up to this behemoth on the 220. I run that on the front if I can. Um, but for me, it's always worthwhile getting used to it.